Good morning, Shores kids. This is Pastor Parker. And I'm EJ. And we are so glad that you're here with us because we are about to start a new series called Double, double Dog, dog Dare. Dare. But before we get started, I'm gonna double dog dare EJ to do something. I'm in. Really? Yeah. It's gonna be really crazy. Can't be as crazy as Twinkie with a hot dog in it with caramel sauce and sprinkles. Or can it? I double dog dare you to eat this. You want me to eat that? All of it. Hey everyone, it's Gabby. And I'm here, we're gonna be doing the values. So make sure you stand up, shake it off, and do whatever you gotta do. Okay, let's get ready. Okay, we're gonna start. I am strong. I am mighty. I am worthy, I am loved, and I am a child of God. That was amazing. Great job, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, Shores kids. Welcome back to another Shores sketch. Today, you're going to be drawing a new friend from our new adventure packet, and his name is Grigglepuss. So let's see how I drew him. As always, you saw how I drew him. Now we want to see how you drew him. So upload them on Facebook or Instagram and tag us at the Shores Kids using the hashtag Shores Sketch. We'll see you next time. Um, are you going to eat it? Just, I'm going to do it. Just give me a minute. Hello friends, for our new series, we're talking about daring to do the right thing. Have you ever heard the words, I double dog dare you? Those five words can either make us really nervous or make us really brave. This month, we're not talking about the kind of dares that challenge you to drink a liquefied Happy Meal or lick a frozen telephone pole. We're talking about the kind of dare God gives us when he calls us to do something big and bold in his name. We're going to talk about someone from the Bible who dared to obey God, even when he was the only one obeying. We learned last month about God creating the first two people, Adam and Eve. They had kids who had more kids who had kids. Pretty soon, the earth was filled with people, but they started turning away from God and disobeying him. It made God sad to see how they lived in disobedience, and he decided to flood the earth to wipe it clean. But God saw someone who was not disobeying. He saw a man who dared to do the right thing and had a good heart. That person was Noah. God told Noah that he was going to flood the earth and commanded Noah to build a big boat called an ark. God told Noah exactly how to build the ark, so Noah got to work. He hammered and sawed and worked so hard to build the big boat, exactly like God had told him to. God told Noah to bring two of every kind of animal onto the ark with him. He gathered a bunch of food and loaded all the animals onto the boat. He brought his family onto the boat. Then it started to rain, and it rained, and rained for 40 days and 40 nights. After the rain stopped, Noah and his family waited on the waters to fade away so they could get off the boat. They waited a long time. Finally, when Noah thought the waters were gone, he released a bird from the boat. Then he released a dove. The dove flew around, then came back to the boat, so Noah waited longer. Then he set the dove free again. The bird flew around, and this time came back with an olive branch. No one knew that meant there were trees out, but he still waited a bit longer. Then he released the dove one more time. The dove didn't come back, so Noah knew it was safe to get off the boat. Noah led his family and all the animals off the boat. Then he worshipped God and thanked him for saving him. God put a rainbow in the sky and told Noah that was a sign that he would never flood the earth again. God was happy with Noah because Noah did the right thing, even when everyone else was disobeying. Do you ever feel like it's hard to do the right thing and obey God when others don't obey him? We can be brave like Noah and follow God too. God wants us to obey him, and I dare you to obey him even when others don't. Hi guys, today's memory verse is from Titus chapter 3 verse 5, which says, He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, 
by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Now let's take 30 seconds for you to learn it on your own. Now see how you did. Titus chapter 3 verse 5. He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Great job, and we'll see you next time. Today we learned that God wants us to be obedient even when others aren't. Like when people are messing around in school and you choose not to, or when your brother and sister are trying to argue with you, you choose to be kind. Today I double dog dare you to go be an obedient even when others aren't. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Just gonna do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! That's gross! Really nasty! Oh gosh! Oh my word! Oh my gosh! Eat it! Eat it! Oh! Hey, thanks for tuning in with us. Week one of Double Dog Dare. We will see you next time. Is I am strong. Okay. even when others aren't. That means when, uh, be more. What's up everyone? And I'm just gonna be here, whoa, that was not <laughs> <laughs>